Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you are a returning subscriber and if you are a new viewer or potential subscriber, hopefully by the end of the video, you click that button. But either way, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Today's video will be da 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 I love the bag. Ain't the bag popping? So today is another luxury unboxing and I'm so excited. These are starting to be some of my absolute favorite videos to do because if you know me or you've been watching me, then you know how I feel about bag shoes, you know, just luxury items like I love. I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, you know what I'm saying? I know not everybody thinks it's worth it and all that good stuff, but listen, it is what it is. I like what I like. Some people like it. Some people don't, you know, and it just, it is what it is, but that is what we are here to do today. Here, that came out a little weird here to do today that's what we are here to do today i have a gorgeous pair of shoes inside of this bag that i'm going to unbox with you guys like i haven't taken them out of the box since you know the actual purchase so i'm excited to do that i love them so much can't wait to see what y'all think about them when i posted them on instagram like while i was in the louis vuitton store a lot of y'all was like, sis, you better not leave out that store without them. So, I got them, okay? <laughs> also, after I do the unboxing, I want to tell you guys like three tips that I personally believe in when it comes to like luxury shopping. Um, aside from just showing you guys the items, I want to, you know, maybe sometimes just give a little bit of insight on things I like to do or things that I think are important when you are shopping designer because obviously they cost more than the average item and you know, you can end up getting a lot of wear. These can end up being things that you keep for a long time. So I think it's important to pay attention and make smart purchases when you make these purchases. You know what I'm saying? So if you're interested in knowing what's inside this bag right here, and if you are interested in knowing my tips for shopping designer luxury items, then please keep watching. So let's get into this unboxing. Like I showed y'all the bag already. I guess these are like the current holiday bags, but they are so cute. I took the bow off. Da, 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 da. Open the box. Here they are. <gasps> Look at that. Look at that. But OMG. Like, y'all feeling these? I just, I, I fell in love. Like, when I first saw them, like, I could have started drooling. Like, I was just like, Ugh. <laughs> So, these are the Louis Vuitton, obviously, silhouette ankle boots. And they are just so freaking dope to me. Like, they are just. They are so fly. Like, everything about them, I just, I really, really love. Like, I just love how sleek they look. I love that it's not, like, that standard heel. Y'all know I'm a heel girl. I love them so, 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 so much. So, let me give y'all a little information about these, okay? They retail at $1,140. Um, they come in black. It's a sock-like material for a second skin fit. On the model, they are like really like a, a tight fit and they were like a really tight fit on myself. I am going to let you guys see me when I like very first tried them on in the store. I was wearing jeans, but with these, I mean, you can wear jeans. Don't get me wrong. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even want a boot that was this expensive that I couldn't wear multiple things with, but I had like light jeans on and really I would like, I'm really going to be like rocking these with like dark fabric, especially 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 like some black tights you know what i'm saying like where it just looks like it just all falls together so like, oh, yeah, like the thigh highs and stuff like yeah. that yeah um, that's that one i like it you want me to get you the other side yeah yeah let me get one what do you think pretty hot 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 everything pretty hot this design is complemented by monogram canvas trim on the straps, which cross over the foot, and on a monogram flower-shaped heel, which is a key signature of the Louis Vuitton shoe collection. Okay, it's about a four-inch heel. Just very, very fly. Like they were talking about the 
going across design like i just really really like the boot i think it's really really fly i was absolutely in love once i tried them on they are 37 i am a women's size 7 ladies what size are you um so yes they are just i thought my phone was ringing i thought my phone was ringing they are just perfecto and i'm in love of so a little bit of the backstory on these right these right here right these were a gift from my baby my boo my boyfriend my man um he, jay bought these for me um funny thing is we were in louis vuitton and we had just stopped in we were at the mall and jay ended up getting something for himself and he's just such a giver and a lover and he saw me like looking at them or whatever and i was thinking about getting them like you know not needing him to get them not that it matters but i'm just saying um, like I was thinking about just getting them, like, fuck it, I'm gonna just get them. But in my mind, I was like, I just got a pair of like black Gucci boots. Like I love to shop, but I'm very like, I'm still strategic and I can still like control myself. And I didn't feel like anything like super major, like work wise had happened. You know what I'm saying? Like to splurge. Like sometimes I have to be in the state of mind to splurge. I'm definitely a shopper, but like, I feel like you splurge maybe every now and again. You don't always necessarily need everything you think you need. So, long story short, I didn't even see when this happened. But Jay told the sales associate to put the boots on hold for me. And, you know, I ended up, he ended up getting them for me. He saw how much I loved them. And I love that Jay is like the Kanye to me being Kim. Because I love when a man is invested in like what you wear. Like, most men like they don't want to shoe shop with you you know what i'm saying and jay doesn't mind he tells me what looks good he tells me what he likes he tells me what he prefers and what looks good on me and i felt like these look really good on me and one reason i was really really intrigued with them is because this like sleek slim ankle design looks good on me i'm a slim girl so not everything always looks good or complements my leg or my lower leg and i feel like these really did so that's a big part of the reason why i felt like i had to have them and like honestly i was thinking about like i was like i'm, I'm getting them like i'm like i'm thinking about them too much later but the lovely man that i have like was already making it happen when he realized that i wanted them so he got a pair of really fly shoes too, but I will show y'all, but he's wearing them right now. Like they fly, they fly, they fly. Um, but yeah, ain't they cute? I love them. I love them, I love them. All right, so let's get into these tips when it comes to luxury items or designer shopping or whatever. So I have like three tips right now that I want to share with y'all. Number one, prioritize. Like I was just saying, don't make yourself feel like every item is a need or a must have. Like even though it might be like a must have like internally or for your closet or for your shoe game, prioritize. I know this goes without having to say, but like you'll be surprised how many people splurge when they're not really in a position to like shoes, bags, nothing ever comes before bills. That's with me or Jay, like priorities are always taken care of first. So I just wanted to say first and foremost, like, you know, I used to watch like Sex in the City and stuff like that. And like, I always like loved like that need for designer. Like when a woman wouldn't like, she wouldn't have like, let's say like a, a fridge full of food, but she had designer, like just that starving, like fashionista type, not literally starving, like not eating, but I mean like, you know, like a starving artist, like somebody that's just like on their way. Like I loved that whole Carrie Bradshaw, like just lifestyle, like how when she had to have a shoe, she had to have it. But at the same time, like, you know, she didn't have children. She didn't have like, I feel like you can live a certain way when it's all about you. But I think still, no matter what, whether it's you, your kids, your man, whatever, always make sure like you're straight. And a lot of times like something will be there. Like, like I said, I didn't get them that very first day, but I thought to myself like, yo, if they here, cause I, I was, I knew I was going back to the mall. Like y'all will see like in a vlog, I ended up going back to the mall, whatever. I knew I was going back to the mall. So I was like, yo, you know, after like, let me sit with it. Let me go over everything. I go over like my monthly expenses and stuff like that. Let me make sure like everything right. I just, in that moment, I didn't feel like, like I needed to make that purchase. So I didn't. So shop smart. Shop smart, you know, don't feel pressure 
don't feel like like you're gonna die like you're not gonna die you're you'll be fine and you'll come across another pair even though it's, it's a harsh reality <laughs> My next tip when it comes to shopping designer luxury items, mix your highs and lows. I am like the spokesperson for mixing fast fashion with expensive designer items. Like I can have on a whole, you know, like outfit that's like pretty little thing and have a designer bag, some designer shoes and some designer accessories, sunglasses, earrings, a Rolex, you know what I'm saying? Like. You don't have to be designer head to toe because it's not about what you wear. It's how you wear it. Because if you got style, you're going to make like anything look good. So I'm very, very big on mixing. I love to mix. I never feel like I have to have on Louis Vuitton head to toe. I never feel like that because listen, listen, I'm a bad bitch. Like you're going to get what I give, okay? And if I feel like giving you half a uh, pretty little thing and the rest is 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 luxury gucci made in italy that's what i'm gonna do i love mixing like i love when i can make something that is not even super expensive look good and i love when i can make something expensive look good because not always just because something is designer or luxury does it look good you know what i'm saying you ever seen a person wear just a bunch of labels but they still look tacky like a person is not fly just because of what they're wearing like i said it's about who wears it how they wear it all of that so my last tip is like a few tips mixed in one that's why i saved it for last but i'm gonna start with buying like basics and neutrals i think i spoke on this in a previous haul but I'm not at a level right now where I totally splurge. Like I am accumulating a lot of nice things, whether I get it for myself or my man gets it for me as a gift. I am accumulating a lot, but I'm still at the point where basics and necessities are more so a vibe and are more like a priority to me other than like, I don't have any like red bags. I don't have like, I wouldn't get like a lime green bag. I wouldn't get like a hot pink shoe like i'm very into getting items that can be worn repeatedly i think that's very very important and that kind of takes me into the next thing make sure you buy items especially if like i'm not going to call it a budget but let's just say like you're just stepping into starting to get yourself designer things and stuff like that get yourself things that are classy i would say and like more so timeless as opposed to what's trendy i'm not always like really on the lookout for what's super trendy i like to get things especially when they're designer and they cost i like to get things that if i wear it right now or if i wear it next year it's not gonna make a difference i don't go for super duper trendy what's now because i just feel like you're not going to get as much wear as you would something that's more so timeless like when i was getting the gucci boots those were a big purchase. I was making a purchase and a lot of people loved the ones that had like the Gucci all over it, like the little, uh, um, like the shorter ankle like boot. And I was like in love with them. But at the same time, when I was looking at both boots, I was looking at the black ones. I'm like, they're leather. I'm also really big on buying like leather luxury goods because you can have them for years, like years because leather luxury quality is amazing like so but anyway i ended up going with the black luxury boot um luxury boot the black leather boot y'all saw that and like i said it's important to get what's going to be timeless i just felt like i could get more wear out of something that doesn't necessarily have like gucci all over it because i can like i just felt like i could mix it better i do have items like i have tights that have like gucci all over them it's just about when you're get those like basic necessities before you get the things that you might not be able to wear as much i'm all about being able to wear my items more than once as much as this stuff costs like i remember one time not to get off track but i remember one time under a picture like i was wearing like my louis vuitton like ankle like star trail boots and um it's so funny because these same pair of boots a girl sent me a screenshot and was like you should get these y'all be y'all be influencing me to buy stuff too y'all be like oh these would look so cute on you you would like these but the same pair of boots um i was wearing them in a photo and a girl commented under it and she was like how many times you gonna wear these girl girl these boots probably cost more than the rent of where you stay i'm gonna wear them if the boots cost 1300 i'm gonna wear them 1300 times 1500 you gonna see them 1500 times i don't believe in getting stuff and not wearing it like what's the point 
So like the boots I just got, the ones I just did the unboxing on, look how nicely they go with this bag that I got not too long ago. Like, I really believe in interchangeable items. I believe that you should be able to wear them. It shouldn't just be this exclusive piece. Like, I love that my boots match my bag. They match my belt. They match my earrings. Ooh. They match my earrings. Like, this is like a whole fit. Like, period. Like, bag, belt, earrings, shoes. When I was looking at the boots, I was already just envisioning so many dope fly outfits. And I think that really matters too. Like, build your luxury collection. Build it. Look at stuff and say, oh, that matches that. That goes with that. I can wear this with that. These boots will make me carry this bag more. You know what I'm saying? Like, things like that. I think it's important to accumulate and be able to coordinate. Like I said, I own a lot of blacks, earth tones, neutrals. I don't always go, I don't wear a lot of color, period, but I'm definitely going to get to a point where I, when I want to buy color stuff and all that, but for starters, I just start off with things that I can wear a lot. I do like pops of color here and there, but I'm just saying, make sure you get your basics before you splurge with the things that you won't be able to wear as much. I love y'all so much. Thank y'all so much for watching. As always, be nice to each other. But most importantly, be nice to yourself. Be nice under this video. If you don't agree with luxury items and you don't care about them or whatever like that, you don't have to say anything. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not, I'm not living my life to please nobody but me. When it's time for me to go, I want to be able to look back. I was happy. I did what I wanted to do. I did what made me feel good. So I feel like in the past, I, I tried to debate things or... You know, I, well, I did this because I don't have to do that. I'm a grown woman. I'm living my life. I'm living my truth. I'm happy. And I hope you guys are happy too. I hope something great happens to you this week. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. If you are not subscribed and you like me and you like my channel, go ahead and subscribe. I don't want to force you, but we do have fun. You know what I'm saying? So I love y'all. Thank y'all. I hope y'all like my boots but even if you don't i do and i already have them <laughs> so i love y'all so much i know i said that already y'all know how i do i just start talking so let me go i love y'all again i don't care i got plenty of love to give and i'm giving it get this video a thumbs up and i will see you guys in my next video